Is it recording? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is Neil Moncrief. This is December 29th, I believe, 2013. And I'm having problems with the uh, continuous uh, glucose monitor. Um, I'm taking this video because this is about the fourth time that I've had problems with it. And I've called and uh, talked to many men about the problem before. And the people that I've talked to on the telephone claim that they've never had any experience with it. But uh, I have had this problem myself enough times to know that there's got to be a manufacturing problem going on here. If not, I need somebody to explain to me why this is happening. I'm going to turn just a little bit, and you can see that there's some bleeding going on underneath the plastic. That's because I've been sitting here for about 15 minutes trying to retract the needle uh, device. And I don't know what the... <clears throat> What the correct name for this is but the part that sticks out perpendicular from my body is supposed to be easily removed however this one is not and this happens about a third of the time so uh, i'm going to show you i'm pinching the bottom i'm grabbing the uh this vertical part and i'm pulling and nothing is happening it will not release um i'm twisting now and nothing is happening it will not release and the more I do this the more bleeding I've got underneath the skin um, I would really like somebody at Minimed to give me a call tell me if I'm doing something wrong I've tried pinching the base of it that has no effect I'm pinching and it will not release I bend and it won't release sometimes I can just work with it for a while and it will eventually break loose Sometimes, though, it uh, doesn't come out at all, and I have to completely pull it out, throw it away, and start over. And like I said, this isn't an isolated incident. This is the, at least the third, more like the fourth or fifth time this has happened. So, um, please take care of this. Again, Neil Moncrief. Thank you very much.